What I like to teach my psychotherapy patients right from the beginning is that therapy is about observing what you have always called yourself. It's observing the patterns and the reactions and the behaviors that you are going through in your daily life. And to bring that in, to discuss with me, and we put it out there in the center very objectively, and we become good witnesses of, of this illusion of what we call ourselves. And it truly is an illusion. As I tell you about a memory that I might have or an experience that I've had, I'm picturing all kinds of things and I'm following those thoughts and I'm in the feelings and the emotions and I may be struggling with it as a problem. And I'm trying to tell you about it, but I'm really quite consumed by that. And if I stand back to witness it, I'm now here with you and we're actually more connected than when I'm right in it, trying to tell it to you and get you to connect with it with me. When I'm listening to a client tell me their story, I have to try to picture what they're picturing and get in tune with it. So isn't it odd that instead of being here and connecting with each other, we connect through these problems that we can never really see, that we try so hard to relate to with each other. So one of the things that really helps everybody and one of the things that the Sedona Method is about is to be able to detach from that habit of making problems so real and thinking we're going to connect to each other through them. As we become better witnesses, not only are we more connected in the loving energy that's always here, but we can see that these problems aren't really real. We don't have to solve them. We can let them go.